This week I'm going to be teaching you a simple fry bread recipe. This is by no means a health food, but it is traditional to our culture. Here you can see a video of my grandma making fry bread, and typically it takes a long time to learn how to do it correctly, so this will be the first of many videos to come. So we begin, of course, with the flour. Here I'm using bluebird flour. This is typical to see in a Navajo home, and it's two cups into a mixing bowl followed by two tablespoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and approximately one cup of warm water. At this point, you're gonna wanna remove any jewelry because the dough will get stuck in it. After you add a little bit of water, add about a half cup of shortening and begin mixing the dough with your hands. Adding a little bit of water and shortening here and there as you go. You want the dough to be sort of fluffy, so avoid mixing it for too long. After you finish mixing your dough, you're going to want to cover it and leave it to sit for about 20 minutes. After the time has elapsed, take your dough out, section it off into about a baseball size and cover the surface you're using with a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Stretch and roll the dough into a disc shape. You can use a rolling pin and your hands, or just your hands, or just a rolling pin, although if you just use a rolling pin, most likely it's gonna just look like a tortilla. Be sure to stretch out the dough evenly and consistently, but I like to leave it a little bit heavier on the edges. And if you make any holes, just repair it by pinching. It's no big deal. Add about one and a half inches of shortening to a pan on medium to high heat. You can check the temperature of the pan using a small piece of dough and if it cooks quickly then that tells you that you can start frying your bread. Turn it while cooking so you make sure that you're cooking it evenly. It really doesn't take that long to cook. You want to make sure that it's a nice golden color on each side and once it's done, you just take it out and put it on a plate lined with a paper towel. You can top it with salt. I've seen white people eat it with honey or sugar. I made a vegan Indian taco. These are some pictures of what I made. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.